Hey, do you feel drained out after the entire day of work or after the entire week of work? <laughs> well, this video is just for you and this particular episode is specifically for the ones who generally feel drained out and it is nothing unnatural. It is generally common to feel drained out or not to feel like doing any form of exercise because of their work or their professional career. Well, I am here to help you with the process of starting your fitness journey and also to not feel much drained out if you stay with us throughout this entire video. So without wasting time, let me quickly go into the episode and let you know that what are the basic techniques by which you can feel less drained out and slowly progress and start your own fitness journey in your own way. Come, let's go. So generally, we all are working and we are having certain responsibilities in our life. Therefore, it is very primary for us to do those works. Well, it is understandable and it is also understandable that our body feels drained out because of those activities. Well, here in today's video, as I mentioned previously and also it's told in the thumbnail, I'm going to tell you very basic techniques by which you can feel less drained out. The very first thing which I believe and has been helpful in my own fitness journey has been taking power naps in between whenever possible. Well, what is a power nap? It is not like a full sleep, but it helps your body, your mind refresh a bit just like if you do a simple form of meditation that also sometimes acts as a form of power nap. If you're shutting off your entire brain and your entire system for a while, keeping your mobile aside, your devices aside and just talk to yourself for 15 to 20 minutes or even 30 minutes that might be helpful in having a temporary recovery before starting any other activity beyond your primary profession. So the very first thing that I believe is power naps do help sometimes. Secondly, so as I was telling you about power naps, I mentioned about meditation. So what is meditation? So recently when I was discussing with few of my friends and also with my family members, we were talking about something that is breathing and how important breathing is. That is something which we are constantly doing even when we are sleeping, even when we are working out, even when we are working. Well, breathing is a very, very, very crucial key player in our fitness journey and day-to-day -day activities. So what I have seen is besides the power nap, I talked about meditation also in that. So what is meditation? Deep breathing. So deep breathing for even 5 to 10 minutes when we feel highly exhausted or we feel completely drained out might affect like a magic. You should try deep breathing whenever you are feeling very tired or exhausted. That might be helpful for you. Thirdly, another very very crucial role beyond the part of power nap or deep breathing is staying hydrated. It is very common for most of us who are working professionals beyond the athletic part is that we generally skip having proper amount of water or we do not consume proper amount of electrolytes that are necessary for our body. Therefore, it is very natural for our body to feel dehydrated and therefore it is very natural for us to feel low, to feel down and to feel exhausted. So. What is something what I believe can be taken into routine right from now is staying properly hydrated. That is definitely going to impact in our day to day routine and make us feel much more energetic than we generally feel. Now coming to the fourth point. Well, it is very very crucial and I understand that it is not always possible but can be taken into our daily routine. That is 
doing certain forms of mobility exercises and stretching in your day to day routine even sometimes in between your work if that is possible why i tell this to you is because generally our muscles for specifically people who are not working out who are not going to gym or not doing regular fitness activities is that they might feel that fatigue they might feel that soreness they might feel that form of lethargy when they are starting their fitness journey so a bit of stretching in between their work a bit of stretching after their work or a bit of stretching even before going to the work might act as the basic inception of their fitness journey and this also will be helping us to not feel very exhausted whereas it is going to be boosting our entire energy packet and one of the most important thing which i think we all try to do and is generally prescribed by a lot of doctors and a lot of people for not only young ones but also for elderly people that is take a walk well if you're feeling tired just try to take a bit of walk in the fresh air well that is something which not only boosts our energy levels but also enhances our mood therefore these are the very very basic five small techniques by which you can actually rejuvenate yourself and you can refill yourself with energy when you're feeling too tired after the entire day of work or after the entire week of work so let me put this in a nutshell for you the very first point that i talked about was having a bit of power nap whenever you are feeling a bit low or drained out of your energy the second thing that i mentioned in relation to it was doing deep breathing exercises or a bit of meditation thirdly i talked about the importance of staying hydrated and how crucial it is whenever we are feeling exhausted or even in our day to day activities or routines staying hydrated is very very important the fourth point what i talked about is stretching and a bit of mobility and flexibility exercises and the fifth point what i talked about was about taking a bit of walk and starting your own fitness journey slowly by doing a bit of cardio activity as simple as that of walking so these are the five points that i believe can be added into your routine whenever you're feeling low or feeling like not doing any form of exercises but you want to regain back your energy levels these might be helpful i believe there are certain other techniques as well which are practiced by different individuals and fitness enthusiasts or different professionals so mention in the comments what are the techniques you follow generally for regaining your energy levels whenever you feel low that might be an interesting thing for every viewer who is watching this well if this video is helpful and if you feel that this was insightful and might be helping someone please do not forget to share this video and if you loved what we have talked about in this content do not forget to like this video and leave your comments because there is a huge team that is working behind the lenses and of course if you are here for the first time and watch this video till here i would request you on behalf of our entire team to please subscribe to our channel and if you love such content you'll not miss them in the future so i hope that today's episode was really helpful for you and we look forward to keep improving with all your feedbacks and every day we try to bring out the best of content from our side as much as possible so we will always need your support and of course as i always say the blessings of almighty so hope to meet you in another episode very very soon with lot more new things hopefully see you soon thank you